What is going on in the gun range today? Do something a little bit different. This right here, I just got done building this. It's my very first gun range shooting bench, and I cannot wait to get to use this thing. I'm gonna take you up to my wood shop, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I did to build this thing. We're gonna go step by step and walk through it together and build this bench. So I'll see you at the wood shop. Welcome back to the channel. We're in the wood shop today. That is right, we're in the wood shop. I have a wood shop. It's actually in my barn. About five years ago, I converted half the barn into a wood shop and I spent two or three years woodworking out of it. I made charcuterie boards, wall shelves, step stools, pretty much anything you requested, I would make it and I shipped it all over the country and it was great and fun, but it was not my thing that I wanted to do consistently all the time. I just got burnt out and I was done, but I kept everything in place because I still use this on occasion. So I got dust collection system, every saw you could probably need, routers, table saws, all that stuff to do pretty much any woodworking craft that I need. And today is the day we're gonna be working on our gun range bench. So I just backed up the side by side, got all my lumber. Now I got pressure treated lumber. Um, you know, just, just, I figured it might last a little bit longer. I'll wait a year or two and have it dry out while it's out in the elements and I'll do some sort of coating on it to help preserve it from that point on. But I did spend a few extra bucks, still under a hundred dollars for this whole thing. And I went with pressure treated. Now I could have went with the construction grade pine and made the same thing too. And went ahead and tried to seal it right now. And I probably would have cut another 40 bucks off this thing. So, I mean, this is pretty cheap at the end of the day. But I got my pressure treated lumber and we're in the shop and that's what we're gonna do today. We're going to be cutting this up. We're gonna turn this pile of wood into a shooting bench for the range. So stick with me, watch it as we go. All right, so just to give you a little more detail on what we're working with here, we have for the top our one by sixes. These are eight foot long and there are three of them. For the legs, we got four by four posts. They're eight foot long also and there are two of them. For the seat, we actually have a two by 12. They didn't have a four footer. So if you can get a four footer, get a four footer. I got the six footer. And then for the main frame, we've got two by sixes, eight foot long. And again, there are four of them. So this is exactly what we're gonna need to create our entire bench. All right, first couple pieces we will need, we 48 inches long. Get a measurement here. I can get two out of this. That's perfect. It's about to get loud because I'm turning on my dust collection system here. All right. Two pieces, 15 inches. Seven and a half. All right, two more at seven and a half. And then a single thirty three inch piece. And I will have all these measurements and all my stuff that I had bought for this down in the description box. You guys can take a peek at that and see exactly what you need to build this. All right, now is the fun part. We actually start to get to build it and put it together and see exactly what it looks like. Now, I just laid this out there roughly so you can kind of get a glimpse of what the frame looks like. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill each of these locations just to help with the pressure of the screws and just make sure this thing doesn't crack down the road. It just, it just lasts as long as possible. Now, all the boards I noticed are a little bit different in height. So what I'm gonna do is my table back here is perfectly flat. I already know that. So I'm gonna build this thing upside down with all the boards laying down on the table flat. 
I'll get my legs built into it. And then when I flip it over, I know it's gonna be good to go. And then we can apply our top boards to this and get this thing done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the drill out, do some pre-drilling, screw this thing together. We'll go from there. All right, so to put the frame together, I'm actually gonna be using three inch triple coated deck screws. They actually have a lifetime warranty, so I know they're going to last a very, very long time. Some people might just put two screws per joint, but I went ahead and put three in here. Like I said, I want this thing to last forever, so I'm not gonna skip anything. I'm just gonna build this thing as beefy as possible. Making sure it's square. So this middle board here, there's really no specific spot it needs to go because the board's just gonna be going across this all anyway, it's just more for support in the middle. So it could it could go anywhere basically you want it to. I just put it on the outside of this last one here so I can have access to it to get my screws into it. This thing is gonna be heavy. So now on to some legs. All right, so for the four by fours, we actually need three of them 32 inches long. and two more 15 inches each. All right, so two legs go in each front corner like that. And one will center right back here. And again, I'm using the three inch deck screws. And I'm putting four in each side of this thing to make sure it really is held in there tight. All right, back to the saw. I need two by sixes. I need a 32 and a half and I need two 48 inches. So the 32 and a half inch board is really just to help stabilize the front leg. So I'm gonna go by about nine and a half inches from the bottom of the leg. And that is where this board will sit. So I'm gonna pre-drill this, get this tacked up there, move on to the back seat portion. And again, three inch screws. Okay, so what I'm doing now is actually building the frame for the seat basically. So I got my two extra legs for support and then this is the frame portion. So I'm standing up on my flat table again and these four by fours will sit just like this, sandwiched between this and I'll screw this together. And then when this assembly is complete, I can pick it up, slide it, over this leg and this will be the third leg in the center of it all. So take care of this first and we'll get attached to the rest of the frame. All right, pre-drilled them all again and I'm gonna be using the same three inch deck screws 
for this portion too. Okay, so I flipped the entire frame over because again, my table's flat, so now it's sitting on all three legs nice and flat. Here's the back bench frame that I just built. I'm gonna get this thing picked up if I can. Let's see if I can slide it in there, there we go. that will level out all three of these legs on this backside so I know it's exactly where they need to be at. Now I've got to center it in this post. We'll be good. So I know this is 48 inches. So we got 24. We got an inch and three quarter. Right there, so I'll pre drill both sides of this with four more. Get some screws in there, and we can start applying the tops to this entire thing. The same three inch deck screws here, too. All right, so now for the one by sixes, I need five of them 37 inches long and four of them 19. Alright, so the 37s are done, now I'm on to the 19s. We need four of them. Yep, so we got everything cut for the deck, and we're going to be just, just space this out, see where it all lands. Now, I think I cut these right to where there should be about a half of an inch of overhang on every side. So yep, feels like there's about a half of an inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-drill all these and then I'm actually gonna screw these all down too. And then we'll move on to the bench. All the holes are ready. Now we're gonna go ahead and I got two inch triple coated screws. So we're gonna go ahead and attach all these boards down with the two inchers. piece to this is the seat. So I'm going to make this 23 inches long, two of them, and then I'll fill that gap and we'll be done with this build. All right, guys, final step. We've got the bench seats down here. I'm gonna pre-drill these. I'm gonna use the same three inch screws I've been using for the rest of the frame. Get this thing taken care of and get it into the range. All right, we are done with this bench. And I think it turned out so darn slick. Look at this. I think it's gonna be perfect for my range. It just turned out. So nice. So next thing is I need to get this thing, which is a ton. It weighs a lot. I had to get off the top of my bench just to get down to the bottom so I can put the rest of the tops on. And it was heavy then and it is heavier now. So got to get it. I think I might use the side by side. I might back up the trailer a little bit closer and actually has a tilt to it. Might get it up in there and see if I can tilt it back down, get it down on the range, get a test fire in on it.
right, that wasn't too bad. Let's get in the range. All right, we got it down here in the range. Give you a better view of what this thing actually looks like. You know, all the way down range. So just kind of set it in place. I took out one of my little tables and I will get it leveled up a little better later on down the road, but I just wanted to get it into the range so we can get our test firing done. So that's what's next. I got my 450 Bushmaster. We're gonna load it up. We're gonna shoot down range for the first time, test out this bench. All right, first shots with the new bench. Man, that was nice to have an actual bench to rest my gun on and get a nice clean shot. I can't wait to get some of the rifles up and get them dialed in a little bit better, especially I got my 50 BMG, just got it scoped up, get the thing dialed in on the new bench. I will go ahead and list all of my materials and the cut list down below in the description box so you guys have access to all of that. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I'll see you next time. Later.